What's up guys, my name is Greg and if you are new to this channel, welcome. This is the place where I'm going to show you my tips, tricks and wooden techniques that's helping me in my everyday wooden projects. And hopefully you can pick up something that's going to help you in your wooden journey. Without any further delay, enjoy today's video. So the whole purpose of this video is just to give you a good idea what's going through my mind and my thought process when I'm doing a wood glue up. This specific project we're working on is a custom built 8 seater dining table for one of my clients. And as you can see I'm just busy organizing the wood as I think the table is going to look best. And now I'm just doing some rough measurements on my timber. This is not final measurements. Once I'm done with my table, I'm going to cut everything down to its final size. And while you're busy checking out my big biceps, guys, remember to like this video. It's honestly going to help the channel and help me produce more content. So I'm marking my wood 1 to 4. This is quite a handy tip, especially when you're working with more than one piece of timber. That once you're going to work with your wood, flipping them around, turning them around, when you're going to do your glue up, you can place everything back the way they were. Now I'm doing the markings for my joints, where I'm going to cut with my biscuit joiner. And I'm going to leave a rough spacing of between 400 to 500 mil in between each biscuit joint. And remember to mark both pieces of wood where you're going to align your biscuit joiner. So when you get to the end pieces of the project you're gluing together, make sure you get as close as possible to the edge so you can make sure your project is going to be strong once you do your glue up. So before you're going to start cutting the holes for your biscuits, remember always to take an off-cut piece of timber and test that your blade for your biscuit joiner actually cuts directly in the center of your workpiece. In my case, my wood is 50mm thick and I made 100% sure that my blade is set at 25mm directly in the center of my workpiece. Thank you. 
this is where my first tip comes in handy. I actually know exactly where each piece of timber needs to come and now I'm just busy packing them in the correct order for my wood glue up. So when you're applying the glue to the side of the wood you're going to do the glue up, remember always to put additional glue inside your biscuit walls. And don't be shy with your wood glue. The more wood glue you apply, the better it is for your wood glue up. When I'm installing my biscuits, I'm just giving them a small smack to make sure they're sitting 100% inside my biscuit hole. And always remember to apply additional wood glue in your biscuit hole on the other workpiece that's not getting the biscuit. This is also an very important part to make sure that the surface of your wood is 100% covered with wood glue. You can obviously use a brush for this method spreading the wood glue over your workpiece but I specifically like using my finger because I like pulling the dry wood glue off my finger once it's dry. This is actually the fun part, once you start applying your wood pieces together to see that your wood joints is actually sitting dead center straight in line with each other. Now just repeating the same process on my other pieces of wood. So for this specific project I did add additional two clamps on top of my table just to make sure once I'm clamping everything together it's sitting 100% flush on top.
just another handy tip for today when you want to clean excess wood glue off take a wet cloth wipe everything off and it would come off easily i am going to leave you with the final product of how this table came out in my client's house and before i go guys remember to subscribe and like this video so we can grow the channel and give me the opportunity to create more content thanks guys cheers for now Thank you.